Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to a new series I like to call Making Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes started off this year's Ultimate Team campaign with just a 78 overall goal card. He didn't even get a core elite. They hand out core elites like candy in Ultimate Team nowadays, and they made Patrick Mahomes a 78 overall. Well, Patrick Mahomes' rise to fame in the NFL came very quickly, and throughout the year, he got a lot of new Ultimate Team cards until he finally got a 98 overall NFL NFL Honors card for winning the NFL MVP award very deservingly. So what we are going to try to do is build Patrick Mahomes like Patrick Mahomes did during his sophomore NFL campaign. And along the way, while we build our Patrick Mahomes, our team overall, all of our players will match the overall of the Patrick Mahomes card we are using. So we start off with the gold 78 overall Patrick Mahomes. That means we have a bunch of 78 overalls, nothing higher besides that random Martavis Bryant that's a 79 with the chemistry, but it's really a 78, so as we go through the series, the most challenging game we'll have will definitely be the first game because that's when our team, when our Patrick Mahomes will be at his worst. Third down and one, we're going to run a jet sweep to Jakeem Grant, one of the stars of our not so great team because he has, I think, 92 speed. So we're definitely going to try to utilize him in as many ways as possible as we hand off to James Conner. That's the base core James Conner who, you know, wasn't too hot when he started the season as well. People didn't even think he would start. That's supposed to be Le'Veon shot but of course James Conner rose as the year went on as well as we try to get some more jet sweep stuff going on not really working out too great third down and nine look at all this pressure it looked like we might have had our man open in the middle of the field but doesn't really work out and we end up punting the ball away so what happens if we somehow manage to win this game with our 78 overall team we will upgrade our Patrick Mahomes now the thing about Patrick Mahomes is he has a rising star card as Tyreek Hill definitely won the rising stars of the NFL just gonna torch us on what you guys will see is literally Hail Mary this guy actually called Hail Mary. Normally when I see people call Hail Mary, I laugh at their faces. But this guy? I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be shook in my boots if this guy calls Hail Mary all game long, you know, trying to get Tyreek Hill the ball because... We have gold cornerbacks. These guys aren't even as close to as fast as whatever version of Tyreek Hill this man has. Like, he doesn't have a God Squad, but he still has a way better team than us. Therefore, you know, if he just puts four streaks on the field, they'll just run by our not-so-great team. So, immediately we have a big concern with this squad. So, yeah, um, upgrading Patrick Mahomes if we manage to win a game with this team. I don't know if we'll go to the 80 overall Patrick Mahomes rising star, if we'll go to the 86 fully upgraded Patrick Mahomes rising star as we hit James Conner. We actually have a nice little drive going right here. I'll let you guys maybe decide that in the comments section. But once we do upgrade our Mahomes, let's say to an 80 overall, we'll make a new team of only 80 overall players as James Conner with the catch out the backfield on the angle route. And we are in the red zone with this squad trying to threaten the tightest game a little pump fake from Mahomes buying time and now taking off Patrick looking for the first down and he's got it first down and goal at the five but here comes Ed Reed this guy was basically turbo blitzing the entire game which is kind of annoying because I couldn't really do much about it with how bad our team was and whenever we did pick up the blitz obviously our offensive line's not that good so I don't really got much time to find anybody but third down and goal we hook up with Jakeem Grant for the touchdown reception and with the PAT the game is somehow tied right before the two minute warning we had that play on second down and goal but I had James Conner on uh we were out the backfield and that kind of broke up the play. So I moved James Conner out the way next time around. And thankfully it worked for us and Mahomes made the throw. But on the other end, Michael Vick gonna one more time just put that Hail Mary ball. He just continuously is calling Hail Mary, but that time it's not gonna work. We bring the double coverage and Emerson's like, I don't even need the double coverage. I'll just make the play myself. A big interception and now we can get some points here. We can actually take the lead. Now, remember, field goal range for our gold kicker is going to be maybe the 25-yard line. It's not going to be like the 40-yard line, like these 99 overall Morton Andersons and all that good stuff as Connor makes a tight catch right there. I'm surprised he made that one. That's going to be a first down. As you see, we have a wide open man, middle of the field. That's going to be Josh Reynolds, I believe, and Reynolds all the way to the 36-yard line. Like I said, not field goal range, but we are close. Maybe thinking about the touchdown going to Martavis Bryant in completion. Mahomes, a 
a pretty decent 9 for 15. And some of those misses are just like this. Wide open Jakeem Grant. But Mahomes being a 78 overall, I guess, just can't make that throw. They kind of nerfed the quarterbacks. Big time. And you see, once again, we have Jakeem Grant open. He's finding open lanes. But Mahomes just not making the throw. Fourth down. Got to go for it. Not field goal range right before the end of the first half. Trying to throw on the run. Mahomes leaves it way short. And it's going to be intercepted. We got to make the tackle. And Mahomes himself will actually bring down Rondé Barber. And on the last play, of course, he's going to call Hail Mary. That's what he's been calling all game long. Just swat that ball away. Thank you very much, Harmon. So you guys notice at the start of the game, we actually have a 95 John Randall and... An 82 Patrick Osama. I, I apologize. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, even though he used to play for the Giants. But yeah, I accidentally left them like as backups in the lineup. So you guys saw at the beginning, I subbed out John Randall to make sure he wasn't in the um in the lineup. And then that was our backup left guard. So that guy's not gonna see any action. So don't really worry about that. You guys saw our third best player, Martavis Bryant. Every everything is 78 overalls. All right, it's an absolute struggle. And as you guys see here, our next problem now that we're starting to lock up the Hail Mary, you know, just basically by double covering Tyreek Hill, is that my Michael Vick is constantly taking off. So what we have to do now is put contains on the field. Contains don't really work that well anymore in Madden 19, but we have to contain Michael Vick. Make sure he doesn't leave the pocket and hopefully get a sack or two. How about Jones' third sack of the game? Third down in 19. Need to stop badly, but Byron Jones is torched by Chris Carter, who goes all the way for the 71-yard touchdown. Oh, man, that hurt. Badly is Lewis getting some great blocks. And how about Lewis going to the 35-yard line? We'll take that return. So Mahomes has some decent field position to work with here as Mahomes taking off for the first down and more all the way to the 47-yard line. As he continued to try to basically turbo blitz us, he's trying to line up the snap and time and all that. We had to ID the mic before every single play. Sometimes try to catch him off guard, but... Sometimes when you have everything blocked up, it doesn't really matter because Reggie White's way better than our right tackle. Third down. If he passed right there, that was just a bad read by us. That's going to be incomplete. And on fourth down, one more time, we're going to go for it. Down by seven. Here comes the blitz. Mahomes backing up and can't get the pass off. It looked like we had X wide open if we had just a half a second longer to make that throw. As, you know, we got to stay in this game by getting a defense to stop. We can't make him let, um, get a two-possession lead here. Second down and... 14 back to back sacks Jones is fourth of the game now it's third down and 21 Hill is covered he's going to Carter and Byron Jones can't make the play and this is why this challenge is so hard and might actually be impossible for us to do as Cash's mark March gets the sack right there is because like this is a winnable game in any sort of meaning, unless we have the team we are playing with right now. Third down and 24. Thankfully, Greg Olson doesn't make that tight catch. He does settle for his field goal, and if he makes it, we'll make it a two-possession lead. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and now this is almost an insurmountable lead, so... Like I said, like this guy, if we just had a half decent team, we would be killing him. He's running Hail Mary all game. This is easy to stop. But with the team we have, even on offense, our offense is so limited. We can't run the ball that, you know, that that's what makes this so challenging, though. That's why this series potentially could be a lot of fun. And like I said at the top, the most challenging game of the series will be the first game we play trying to win with the 78 overall Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the boys as Reynolds gets the big time catch at the 38 yard line next play has some time looking for grant he's got a step but Rondé Barber closes on that ball and gets the interception and Rondé Barber on the run back avoiding Mahomes finally tackled by Grant and that might just be the dagger so we lose this game we just gotta try again so I don't know how many tries it's gonna take and if we just can't win the game then I guess we just can't do this series but you know what we're gonna try we're gonna try keyword Ah, oh, man, all six is of completion so on Hail Mary, man, this is killing me as he goes end zone, but that's going to be intercepted by David Amerson in perfect position for his second interception of the game. We need this run back to be good, and Amerson takes it to the 28-yard line. The window still slightly ajar for us to try to make something happen as Mahomes avoiding the pressure, and Mahomes going to get the first down and get out of bounds. Very key right there to stop the clock. Our pocket presence has to be amazing to try to hang in there and make these throws. 
knows that is going to be caught by Grant. Ty Law looked like he had it. Instead, we find Jakeem Grant. Next play, Grant left corner. Gets out of bounds and makes the catch. At the two-yard line, we're threatening to get a touchdown. But one more time, the turbo blitz comes through with Ed Reed. Just our offensive line just completely bugging out. Second down. Here comes Reggie White. Mahomes just able to throw that ball away for the incompletion, but still third down and goal at the nine-yard line. Going to come out five wide. Minute 53 left. And immediate pressure right up the middle. Pretty much unblocked somehow. Mean Joe Green. Fourth down and goal. We have to take our field goal here to make it a one-possession game. We still have all of our timeouts, so we're going to kick this ball deep and... Hope we can stop his Hail Mary or whatever he's gonna do. Hopefully we can stop this kick return from Cordero Patterson Who jukes one man, but is down at the 17 yard line as he's gonna hand it off to Ricky Williams He's gonna try to choose some clock play conservative get a first down and get out of this game So we need to stop the running back. We're going all-out blitz on Ricky Game tackle bring him down on second down and now here we go third down and five game on the line He's passing running big down he goes second by Marsh and on fourth down and six he's punting the ball and he completely shanks it way short here comes Grant on the return going outside Jakeem Grant of the Miami Dolphins to the 42 yard line needing a touchdown to tie the game here's Mahomes trying to catch him offside getting the snap off he has some time to roll out has some space to take off and Mahomes gonna go out of bounds to stop the clock at the 38 yard line minute left in the game he's sending the blitz we've got Grant wide open Oh, that was a touchdown! Mahomes can't make the throw! I can't believe it! Third down and five, Mahomes trying to get that first down with his legs. We got a gain of six, but somehow not the first down. Fourth down and inches, game on the line. Clock is running, we have no timeouts to work with. Need to get the snap off immediately. See, he's trying to time that snap, not quite. Here we go, game on the line, gotta make a throw, we do! Martavis Bryant tackled in bounds at the 22 yard line. We're gonna run, hurry up here. Gonna try to spike this ball to bias. Just some time to think about our next play. I don't wanna rush this play because this could potentially be the last play of the game if we get tackled inbounds, which is 14 seconds left. End zone shots from here, pretty much. Here's the pressure. Mahomes somehow escapes, and Mahomes with some space. He's going to take off and get out of bounds with six seconds left in the 12-yard line. End zone shots from here, wide open. Oh, Mahomes, are you kidding me? That was a walking touchdown. Oh, four seconds left. Can we strike twice? Open Connor and Mahomes misses again. The 78 overall Patrick Mahomes. Are you kidding me? But there's still one second left in the game. Barring a penalty, the game's final play. We got to go end zone here to try to tie the game. Mahomes setting audibles at the line. Seven seconds left. Getting the snap off. Here's pressure. Mahomes stepping off. Mahomes crosses the line and down he goes. Five yards short, and that is the way the cookie crumbles. The game ends with us five yards away from tying the game. But for all intents and purposes, this game should have been tied three times on the final drive. Mahomes missed three wide open men that would have been touchdowns. Oh my god. Wow, like I said, this was, we were going to win a game with a 78 overall team, which is very hard to do at this point in the year. This was the game. Oh, we blew it. We blew it. I mean, I didn't play a perfect game by any means, but ah, we should have had a chance at the end. I can't believe the 78 overall Mahomes missed so many passes, so... I mean, if you guys want to see more of this series, leave a like. If you guys leave enough likes, I'll bring this back for part two. This is a pain in the butt to try to get done winning with a 78 overall team, but I, I it's possible. I think it's possible if we run into the right matchup and get the right plays going for us. So uh, leave a like in the video. If you guys enjoyed making my homes part one, subscribe for more Madden 19 gameplays, and I'll catch you guys next time for maybe part two.